Hello, welcome to Transition to Life. Today we're going to learn how to make microwave oatmeal. If you haven't already looked at the video on microwave safety, please do that now. Otherwise, let's get started. Before I came in the kitchen, the first thing I did was wash my hands. Make sure your hands are clean before you start to cook. The next thing I did was set up my supplies. In this case, a bowl, a spoon, and a measuring cup for my oatmeal. I've already pre-measured my oatmeal, put it into my measuring cup, and I will pour it into the bowl. Oatmeal is a two to one ratio. So if I put in one measure of oatmeal, I'm going to put in two measures, one, two, of water. I'm going to stir up my oatmeal. And now I'm ready to put it in the microwave. All microwaves are different. Some have preset settings, such as the beverage setting here, which cooks on this microwave for two minutes, or a popcorn setting that cooks for almost four minutes. But all microwaves also have number pads, so we're going to learn how to make our microwave oatmeal using the number pad. If we were going to make it for two minutes, we would press two, zero, zero but we're only going to make ours for a minute and a half. A half of a minute is 30 seconds. So we would press one, three, zero for one and a half minutes. We'll hit start and the microwave oven will automatically cook our oatmeal on the highest setting. For other recipes later, we will learn how to do it on lower settings. But today, we're cooking our oatmeal for 1 minute and 30 seconds on high. My microwave is done, but you notice that I'm not running over to open it up. I let it wait for just a second so that the steam settles and I don't get burned. I'm reaching in the microwave with two hands to get my oatmeal. I'm also wearing hot pads. Two hot pads for beginners, two hands for beginners. Mitts are easiest because it lets you use your thumb and make sure that your fingers don't get burned. I've put my oatmeal down and now when I close my microwave oven, I take a look and see, did I spill? If I did, Now's the time to clean it up. Once I have my oatmeal here, I'm going to take my spoon that I stirred with earlier and stir it back up again to distribute the heat. While the oatmeal was cooking, I set out my toppings. In this case, apples, raisins, almonds, and sunflower seeds. I also set out sugar, white sugar or brown sugar, but only a teaspoon. This isn't a cookie. Your oatmeal is done, your toppings are ready to put on, enjoy. 